Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 11th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Trending Now. And our scripture is John's Gospel, chapter 10, where the beloved disciple writes, Once again the people picked up stones to kill him. Jesus said, At my Father's direction I have done many good works. For which one are you going to stone me? They replied, We're stoning you not for any good work, but for blasphemy. You, a mere man, claim to be God. Jesus replied, It's written in your own scriptures that God said to certain leaders of the people, I say you are gods, and you know that the scriptures cannot be altered. So, if those people who received God's message were called gods, why do you call it blasphemy when I say, I am the Son of God? After all, the Father set me apart and sent me into the world. Don't believe me unless I carry out my Father's work. But if I do his work, believe in the evidence of the miraculous works I've done, even if you don't believe me. Then you will know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Once again they tried to arrest him, but he got away and left them. He went beyond the Jordan River, near the place where John was first baptizing, and stayed there a while, and many followed him. John didn't perform miraculous signs, they remarked to one another, but everything he said about this man has come true. And many who were there believed in Jesus. Trending is an amazing phenomenon. Something happens in today's world and the bandwagon gets overloaded in a hurry. The trending of people getting ready to stone someone is as old as the fourth chapter of Genesis when Cain picked up a big rock to teach his brother Abel a lesson. That didn't end well, and it still doesn't. Not all stoning, however, is done with a rock. What's been trending since I was barely into my teens is the stoning of God's church and faith in the church's founder, Jesus. Now, there are many reasons, and some would say excuses, for this falling away from Christian orthodoxy, which places faith firmly in Holy Scripture, bedrock of which is the Gospel. But the primary cause for this increase in faith downward trending isn't any different than when people picked up the stones that day in Jerusalem's temple to silence the upstart son of a carpenter. When something is said that rocks the comfort boat, the occupants are going to toss it overboard. As a reply, Jesus challenged their willingness to send him packing from the church. Also not a new occurrence, preachers are very familiar with the exit trending of both members under their own power of choice and the preachers themselves by committee vote. But the bottom line of Jesus' challenge is common sense. If what he did matched with what he said, and what the scriptures recorded as God's word and way, why the disbelief? You've heard it before. If it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, and quacks like a duck. This passage has a world arriving at the conclusion that, evidence aside, We'd rather have the comfort level of making our independent choices than the uncertainty of following a God of infinite power who disturbs our comfortable nest. For you today, it may be easier for many people to follow Jesus in theory rather than to stand with Jesus once the flinging of rocks commences. Then it's a whole lot easier to just go with what's trending. But there's coming a trend to end all trends. That moment when you face the one who's faced the crowds with rocks in their hands that day in Jerusalem. He's going to say one of two things in that moment. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Or, depart from me, I never knew you. The right choice or the wrong rock is in your hand. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus today. Have a blessed day.